What is up, everybody? <laughs> we are here for legs. Another Monday. First snow that I've seen in Texas since I've been here. Probably the only snow that I'll see since I've been in here in Texas. But the benefit is, is for being 10 o'clock on a Monday, it is pretty dead in here. So I'm not complaining. Um, but. We're gonna get rolling on on this. We're gonna try this, and I know normally you guys see me on that one behind me. The reasoning is, is the pad is like a little bit curved. So normally I like it more for my ankles. I feel like it feels better. But this one, I wanna see if I can get a deeper stretch this week. Um, I'm trying to focus my range of motion um, a lot more now. I'm trying to work on the ego lifting habits a little bit more. Be more of an efficient trainer, but no excuses, so let's just get to it. That's going to be too light. This is going to be like a warm-up set. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That feels good. That feels real good. Gonna go up a little bit more, see how that feels, and then kind of go from there based on what a working set is gonna be. A little heavier. <laughs> the conversations we have <laughs> as some of us uh, there's like us older crew of warehouse workers during the um, homecoming sale. Some of the jokes and conversations we make <laughs> some of them are, Oh good lord. Try to take a bathroom break. And all I get is uh, almost poop myself from laughing. Uh. Apparently not knowing how to pin a clip. Okay, well, it's gonna make me go one more higher than I wanted, so. No, no. That was heavy. That was really heavy. We're gonna have a fun little burner set now. Whee.
That's nothing. I'm definitely gonna take my time warming up today on this because my adductor is feeling tight as boss. But I wanna make sure that I get them good and warmed up so that when I do go over into pack squat or pendulum squat, whichever one I end up doing today, um, my adductor isn't pulling into play on how much I can actually press on that. So, we're gonna take our time. May not record every single warm up set or how long it takes me to warm up, just so I don't, I'm not boring. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna go into it, see how long it takes. I'll let you know the pawn. Hey. Where or where I don't know what the difference is between that, between here and there, but that feels a lot more comfortable. But that is what the winter wonderland looks like out here. And uh, if any of y'all know Texas weather, we don't normally, or as of I've heard. Now, I've never actually spent a winter here, so I mean, I can't vouch to say of much what the weather's actually like, but I mean, it really hasn't been this cold since I've been here and it just kind of spiked down um, in the middle of the week. Woo! Kind of out of nowhere, like it started getting cold. And then today's pretty brutally cold and we woke up with snow and a lot of people are even pretty snow. Like we were supposed to get like an icy mix or something, or some type of precipitation, but we weren't expecting snow. So that's definitely something. I'm not complaining, but I'm from the north. I kind of miss the snow. So this is like my nostalgia from home. <laughs> but no, driving here wasn't bad at least. The roads aren't horrible, but I also didn't see much traffic. Not many people were out. It's pretty nice. I'm not complaining all around. That definitely felt better. It felt a lot better. Probably gonna do one more like that there. And just kinda hold back on intensity a little bit and not go to complete failure. I'll push pretty good. Get some good move, blood moving, some good weight moving. And just let that let them recover a little bit. I normally blast my adductors like a freaking bat out of hell. Here we go. I just recorded a little weird story. <laughs> I'm gonna post it on my Instagram, but. <gasps> ah! Spread them. <laughs> Said I wanted to work range of motion, so I need to feel the stretch. Sweet mama Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
kissed. We do. Crank the volume. Let's get some mamas. <laughs> but yeah, while we let this stretch really sink in for a minute. The last video, I'm trying to be more careful about it. I try to watch my decibel reader and try to make sure that I can cut out as much of the background as possible. Um, and I don't know what songs are and what songs aren't, so I'm gonna have to find a way or figure out a better way to do this than what I've gone about so far. But <laughs> my chest shoulder video that I tried to upload this morning got blocked <laughs> because of copyright. Because of like a, it was like a 10 second segment that it could actually pick up the lyrics or something of the song in the background and recognize it, but it couldn't even recognize the rest of the, like the song in that section. It's a little annoying, but technical things you gotta work with. Anywho, let's stop talking and get to this book or set. It's going to be a little warm-up set, get a little bit more blood moving into the actual quads and sails before we blast the noise of be set to a failure. <laughs> I was, I was good, but definitely heavy. I'm gonna go pretty short rest into this next set. I wouldn't exactly call it like a drop set, but because it's not a straight zero rest, but I'm really only going for about 30 seconds. I've got like 10 seconds left. We're going to one of the OG hard style songs. 
if I'm not mistaken. It's by Whippa. Shameless. If you have any pre in the system and you're listening to this song, it is like straight, straight crack cocaine. <laughs> okay, I can't say that. We're gonna clip that part out. It's, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Totally didn't say something I probably shouldn't have, but we're gonna clip that part out. I think we can call that a solid wrap. Like extensions for now. I'm honestly straight vibing right now to this song. It's the first time I've heard it, but uh, it's in the, again, I'm just like in a hard style vibe today. <laughs> I don't know what it is. If y'all, y'all genuinely heard my playlist, I don't think I could unlive it. Especially currently, I don't think there'd be any way to unlive it. There would be some people that would absolutely love it, and there would be some people that would absolutely shit on it for it. So I think we might hold off just a little bit for the complete, complete playlist drop. But <laughs> we might in the future, maybe. If you guys blow up one of the videos enough or something. I was actually debating about that because like I want to get a haircut here soon, but I have to find a video that it would be good to do. And I, I need to work on practicing making my thumbnails too. I have no idea how to do that. Well, I do. I just don't know where to start. That's a better, but the best place to start is just to start. You don't, you don't need a place to start. You need to just start doing something and then you'll figure out, man, I should have done this first. Then you can go and do that and stuff. But um, enough of that. I'm gonna move on with this. See how it feels and go from there.
I'm gonna go up just a little bit. Benefits of being a short fuck. I'm not fucking. I bet you are taking steroids. I'm just a mad cunt. That's probably going to be an interesting view, but uh, I hope you all don't mind while we uh, burn out on a single plate. Ugh. See, I was thinking if I put my feet down here, if I can do like I did one nice little warm up set here with three aside. So I'm gonna have to see how this feels and go from there. Oh yeah. Five moved pretty good, so we're gonna try six. We put the sleeves back on, and then 
We'll go from there. I mean, that's just kind of how we're rolling with this. It's been a while since I've used the Cybex instead of the hip press. We're going up. My legs are just shaking trying to set up. We're gonna go on the Bulgarians. It's gonna be one kind of heavy, son of a dingleberry, but uh, oh. I don't know why I feel off balance when I do that, but... Okay, a little bit more towards than I thought just from standing.
Got one more heavy set, and then back off set with probably the 50s. Then body weight, straight, drop set straight into body weight on that one. Out cooked. We'll be out of here. Whew. Here we go. How do you like that view, huh? There we go. It's last set time. You don't need music. You don't need straps. None of that bullshit. It's last set. There's no time to make excuses. This is this is where you decide whether you're a freaking boy man or if you're gonna be a man boy. <laughs> oh shit. What's that supposed to mean? I don't exactly know. It's for you to decipher. Breathe, and then repeat other leg. <laughs> Take a sip. Basically now it's just water, but was the intro. Go, go, just. <laughs> but we ain't got no more now. It has like the faintest little hint the flavor, that's it.
Fiskin noise. Little sneak peek of the Japon before we head out. That is hard with a leg pump. So, while I continue to get my shoes on, I guess I will conclude today's video. But uh, there's not really much else to say. Um, I gotta go home. I gotta finish uploading that one video that I wanted to get blocked. <laughs> and I have to finish um, editing and then upload the next one, of which is going to be, what, chest and shoulders. So then back, back day from Saturday and then post today's leg day after that. And it's kind of a cycle from there. And as I get better at doing this, a little bit better at knowing what I'm doing on the tech side too when it comes to posting and editing and being able to do it a little bit faster, more efficient, I know I'll be able to get better at it, make these look a lot cleaner. And then I'll start being able to do more stuff outside of the gym being more comfortable taking my camera out, knowing what type of stuff to shoot and what kind of style I want that to look like and how to make it look that way when it comes to vlogging here in the future. But before I can do much vlogging anyways, I have to figure out my financial situation a little bit more because right now, like, other than here, being at home and editing and, and or eating, and or prepping said food, kind of that whole situation of just in between preparing for the gym or editing and eating and, and or prepping said items or actions. I don't really do much else right now because I can't, I can't really afford to do anything else that isn't a necessity. So um, I don't really have much else to share with you guys. That's why I wanted to uh, start journaling more so that I could kind of share those thoughts and. I don't know if I'm gonna call it a podcast or a thinking room or kind of thing. I don't. That sounds dumb, but something like that, where like I just kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts and stuff that I've been kind of processing through. For a way for it to help me kind of process through my stuff that I want to process through, kind of talking about it and talking about it to in a very open sense, where I'm not too afraid to actually be vulnerable and tell the truth, you know. Um, but also in a place where when I do share like the truth, it's going to do more than just benefiting myself, but it can benefit possibly some of you guys out there watching that are maybe thinking through the same things or trying to figure out some of this or that, you know. Um, some people hate it. They hate it. You don't have to watch it, you know. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I want, I know, 
I am a big advocate for mental health, um, but I also like at the same time feel like mental health has been used as an excuse for a lot of, I wouldn't say for a lot of people, I'd say there are a lot of people who have mental health issues and they don't know how to face them because they're using other mental health issues to hide or run away from the actual thing that they are struggling with rather than just facing the fact and seeing what they are struggling with and being self-aware of that and being vulnerable enough to admit that and actually walk through it um, and not just say the easier thing of, oh, well, I have ADHD, so that's why I do this. That doesn't explain why you do something. Why you individually do something is because you decided to. There might be other influences of which can be part of your trauma or your mental things, but that's not why you did something. The person who made the decision at the end of the day is you and only you. So there's a lot of people who don't know how to be self-aware enough to make, to make that realization that at the end of the day, they're still, like not in a morbid way, but they're still the, the one to blame, just like I am, you know? Every time I make a mistake, I have to own up to it and you have to be accountable. Accountability and blame are the same thing. Everything has to have some type of blame. Someone or something did something, and that's what blame, blame is putting the cause, like a causation of an event or an effect onto a person, an animate object, as the way that I would understand. I'd have to go and look at the actual scientific definition to be more specific, but blame has had the negative connotation put on it for the entirety of at least my life and so many people take blame as a bad thing and so it's like if you're taking blame for something it's mean meaning you're you're owning up to this horrible thing it doesn't have to be a bad thing taking blame can be a good thing saying yeah i'm the one who made that mistake it doesn't have to be a big mistake it can be a simple mistake that anyone would have made but taking accountability or taking the blame for it and owning up to what is that, what is your actions is something that a lot of people need to work on, whether that be minuscule little things between decisions and relationships or if it's big things in their life with a lot more important things. But that's enough for my whole little rant, I guess. I said I was gonna keep it quick and short for a little outro, but little thoughts with me in the silence post-workout you know, post-workout philosophical sessions. <laughs> Talk to you all later.